The ten Boko people confessed, said their leader in Asorok are the ones making the money. Why they die like chicken? Said they are tired. Amichi review. Amichi has finally revealed what the detained um, Boko people said during interrogation. He said that they confessed of being tired of the whole thing. He said they are tired of the whole thing. That they are busy dying like chicken. Why their leaders who stays in Asorok are busy making the money? Now, the question is, who are those their leaders? And where are they in that Aso Villa? You understand? Where are they in that Aso Villa? Where are they hiding? You see that? So that's just it. So um there is a lot of questions that need to be asked on this very um matter because it is we we we, we need to it is it's now looking very very suspicious. Very very suspicious. Let us check the content, my dear listeners. This is evening news. An army general, Christopher Musa, who is the theater commander of Operation Hadinkai, was today interviewed by the cable where he spoke extensively on terrorism and the success of the Nigerian army so far in the fight against insurgency in Nigeria. Christopher Musa confirms the death of Abubakar Shekau, who was the leader of the Boko people and also said that the major challenge they have now is the fact that these Boko people have foreign sponsors and also some who are staying in Asu Villa who are bankrolling them and providing money for acquiring arms and ammunition. When asked to speak on the fear that Iswap and the Boko people may carry out massive recruitment of fighters, the army general said the Boko people themselves are fed up and that they have seen they cannot succeed. He said, if you talk to some of them who have surrendered, they will tell you they have seen there is no future having fought for 13 years without gaining anything or moving forward in life. He said the Boko people will also tell you that it is only their leader that are making money, adding that it has become a business venture and no longer an ideology. My dear people, so what are you going to see of this now that has just been reviewed by this army general? Are we going to say the army general has fabricated this story? No. Are we going to say he has fabricated it? Of course no. Of course no. Because you and I know that if there is anybody that must reveal the truth to us about these Boko people and their sponsors, it is the army. It is the army. I used to tell us something that if you want to know the truth, if you want to know the truth about terrorism, meet the Esodia. He will tell you everything. He will reveal the truth to you. And that is what has just happened now. You see that? So the army general is telling you the real truth and nothing but the truth. So it is better that you accept it. Look at what he has just said. That is the plan of the sponsors and what the arrested or detained um, uh, Boko person and also what uh, Abubakar Shekau, the, the, the late Abubakar Shekau 
said uh, before he died. You see that? So, it is clear that the sponsors of this Boko people are directly from that uh, from that uh, uh, from that Aso Villa. Proper investigation have not been carried out. Have not been carried out. It does not. It shows that we are still deceiving ourselves. We are still deceiving ourselves. So, my dear people, whatever it is, I am leaving this up to you. And I'm telling you now that as it is, Nigeria cannot, uh, cannot, uh, uh, can never change. Instead, we will we'll continue getting advanced. We will continue getting advanced in terrorism. We will continue getting advanced in terrorism. Huh? So please and please and please and please. I would like to hear from you. Because we are no longer safe with the look of things. We are not safe again in Nigeria. Every day we keep getting new new stories, new new stories, and very scary ones at, at that. Very scary one. So please, whatever it is, don't forget to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.